Hey guys, how are we doing? Crypto Insight UK here, bringing you back another YouTube video. So today comes with a big day. We are actually going to be having the weekly, uh, sorry, the monthly closes here for crypto. Um, yesterday, we obviously got the month, monthly closes for equity markets as they don't trade over the weekend. And today being the 31st of August, we're gonna get the monthly closes for crypto. If we look at the S&P, like it's absolutely ripping to be honest on the monthly. When we do get into these overbought areas on the uh, monthly RSI, we do typically have a little bit further to go in terms of like before we see a top or, or a short term pullback. For example, here, it's, it's going to get messy on the screen now because the drawing is going to come back up. But for example, we see a 27% uh, extension once we get into the overbought area. And here, when we get into the overbought area, it's right about here on the monthly. And before we start to dip back down, it's here, it's about 23%. So from here, as we've just wicked in and we'll take this month into consideration, say we could push all the way up to somewhere around 678. Um, and then we're starting to look pretty blow off toppy in terms of equities, to be absolutely honest with you. Um, if we take it, this is the logarithmic. We're pretty vertical in ascension, but it has been kind of like that since uh, 2008 because of the reasons that we talk about quite often with monetizing debt and um, debt increasing and then that obviously rolling over into the equities market. So monthly close looks all right for equities. We're just waiting to see what happens when um, feds actually start to cut interest rates as they've suggested they're going to do in September. And we've obviously got the jobs reports coming this week. We've also got CPI coming um, on the 11th of September. The blockchain backer pointed out quite quite nicely um, that we will be wiping a 0.5 month-over-month uh, -month CPI uh, report off this month. So if we've got zero on, on CPI, so as long if inflation in, in, improves by like nothing, it stays stationary, then the year-over-year -year CPI will actually drop by 0.5%. If we do what we did last month and, and have minus one, minus 0.1 month-over-month -month inflation, then CPI will drop by 0.6%, which is quite significant. This might mean or suggest that we could see um, a larger um, rate cut from the Fed in September, which could be more of a bullish signal for markets in general. Obviously, historically, when we do have rate cuts come in, we do see a short term pullback in markets is probably when people um, have been buying the rumor, selling the news sort of thing. And obviously, it indicates there are some sorts of areas in the economy that need strengthening. Uh, that's why the rate cuts have come. But then when the rate cuts come into fruition, it normally means that we have um, quite a surging market in general because money is getting cheaper. And that is something I've written about in the newsletter this week at large. It's not actually out yet. It gets published today. So probably by the time you're listening to this, the newsletter will be published. It will be week 105. And I've written my whole section, six pages on liquidity, uh, the DXY and what that means um, for cryptocurrency in general, I'm going to have a little look at the DXY right now just to show you this is some of the stuff that I've talked about and you can read why I've talked about this potential um, range and target um, for the DXY and what could happen if we get an overextension. Essentially, that that's very important if you want to understand where I think the market's going in the next few months, basically. So looking at crypto specifically. Bitcoin has come down on the monthly time frame to take liquidity from this big green candle here that we had back in February. RSI is starting to look bearish. People are probably starting to lean towards the bearish side here. It's a great time or in the next month or two to start to see a reversal, in my opinion. I do believe we're going to march to the upside. Um, I haven't got loads to say about crypto specifically. So I'm going to touch on XRP because we've got the XRP. Um, obviously, the XRP monthly close is very important with how XRP has been outperforming Bitcoin and ETH so far. So I'm going to talk about XRP, but I also wanted to just touch on Flare and say I'm a big Flare bull. I'm going to take you to the weekly just to look at the RSI and show you what's going on here. The RSI is creating a higher low. Yes, price is creating a higher low, but it looks like very soon if we get some sort of catalyst, Flare could start this next leg up, which is something that I've been really watching. I said my first take profit area for Flare is between 15 cents and 19 cents. So that could be coming very soon. Something that I'm eagerly like watching basically for Flare. If we look at the stochastic RSI, that's just coming up off the bottom on the weekly time frame as well. So getting rid of the RSI and the stochastic just for now and taking us back to the monthly time frame, just looking at Flare again. 
we've come and we've taken liquidity from this candle open candle here and we've rejected this zone and held it pretty well as support this is another reason why i'm actually feeling quite bullish and a lot of altcoins do look pretty similar in in regards to like oh, crv is not a very good example because that one's been uh, performing pretty differently but i'm going to look at some like wilder world for example i'm just going to take a few random ones volume's been pretty low like we've been selling off but volume's been low volume was big on the buys and it's been pretty low look ethereum classic on the sales sushi swap on the sales volume starting to pick up but that's as we find liquidity at support levels are these a bit of a different one and um, because it's been doing pretty well but look volumes picking up as we start to push towards these resistance levels you want to see how they break out there i do think we're going to have like an eth DeFi cycle very soon but anyway talking about xrp is what we want to look at on the monthly time frame xrp again has taken the liquidity from last month's candle closed the gaps and i think looks to be getting ready to march on higher this is what I'm expecting for XRP, whether it's this week, next week, or in the next couple of weeks. I think we're very, very close to a breakout here. And if we look on the monthly time frame against X, XRP against Bitcoin to start with, let me just find it. XRP against Bitcoin here. It's pretty neutral against Bitcoin, but ETH is the, the one that I'm really looking at. But look, if we look how close we, close we are to closing the, um, the monthly time frame above this white line here that has historically marked massive impulsive moves for xrp um, against bitcoin if we get this close i really think that's when we start to look really bullish and again volume has started to pick up look on the green side for xrp here look see right down here um not a lot of volume coming through kind of chop and then as we start to get these green candles volume does start to pick up i'm going to take you into the hourly in a minute against bitcoin so something interesting there and this is the monthly candle close we want against ethereum look on against ethereum the rsi is starting to turn bullish on the monthly remember the monthly closes in 13 hours we want this close above this white line here it's really battling with it against ethereum i'm going to take you into the, the hourly chart because there's something interesting happening as we form these higher lows that we've been talking about higher low 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 again what we need to actually see now for the structure to continue is actually a higher high so we need to come and close above this level really before we start to see the next pullback and continuation to to keep the market structure continuing and then against bitcoin as i said something interesting is starting to happen but anything can happen in crypto it's only one or two percent move here we are starting to break out of this potential bull flag pattern we've come down we've closed this gap we've we've taken the liquidity from this candle and now we could be looking for a push to the upside here and as i said as i've got drawn on here this is the weekly close that we are looking for we're so close to it again well we've been flirting with it a lot like it's providing heavy resistance like you can see all these rejections can we get the break that we're looking for can we get that we need a if we got a big day today we get the weekly close and the monthly close but we'd be looking for quite a big push today xrp has been really struggling to break above the 60 sort of cent level i'm going to take the drawings off again as you guys i know are quite familiar with my elliott wave uh, pattern for xrp and i can post it on x if you need to see it again but look again these areas these wicks down this is where we're really struggling to break above that 60 sort of cent level look if we say 60 cent to 65 sort of cent um there to here is really where we're struggling to get above if we start to get some clean breaks above that 60 65 cent level i think we really do start to push on higher very quickly We've got then the resistance at the top of the range about 75 and then up at 93 and then we're looking up towards this 180 sort of a level in my opinion well 120 130 first these again some open candles up here that probably need closing the one dollar sort of range and then we are looking really to get the show on the road if you're an xrp fan so let's see and um, we still do have some open candles up here look if we look we're looking here by the way between 190 and 260 can we start to get an aggressive move here we're so close we're teetering on it again i keep saying this we just need some confirmation some sort of bullish catalyst are the sec going to come out and say okay cool we're done with the ripple versus sec case a ripple going to come out and say we're paying the remedies we've got swell coming up for ripple we've got the xrpl like conference in uh, korea at the minute could we see some sort of catalyst to take us um and make us look really bullish on the end of this month and the end of the week let me know what you guys think in the comments am i being a moon boy or can you see what i'm talking about i'd love to know your thoughts 
If you do enjoy the video, guys, please do subscribe, hit the like button, and share it with a friend. Thank you for tuning in. Peace up, A Town Downs, Crypto Insight UK would say.